All right, 107.3 Casey's R&B and Hip Hop. My name is Evany and stepping in the Zoom room today, I got Miss Maya Goods. What's popping, Miss Maya? Hey, how's it going? Doing good, it's a shiny, sunshiny day, so nothing can get better than that with all the rain that we've been getting. Well, I don't know, where are you located? Um, I'm located in Kansas City, but right now I am in LA. Okay, LA with the sunshine and the palm trees. Oh yes, I'm trying to get this out there. That's so let's talk about your first single, Situationships. So yeah. what does a situationship mean to you? Um, a situationship means to me is just something that is just all over the place. Like a situation where like there's no one really knows what's going on. It's not necessarily an entanglement because an entanglement is where like, Y'all both know the deal, what's going on. A situation is just confusing, a confusing situation where like nobody knows what's going on. All right, so that song sounded like it hit very close to home, like this was somebody that you were singing about. So who was this song inspired about? Um, I'm nosy. Put them out there, spill the tea. Uh, they did okay, the song. Okay. It wasn't necessarily about one individual person, but as far as like my whole experience being in a situation ship, because I've been in many. So I can't really pinpoint on like which person that it was because I feel like it was just all of my experiences into one song. So it was a gumbo of relationships that came out into the situation ship gumbo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you were a student athlete at KCK Community College. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what made you want to do the switch to music? I've always wanted to do music. Even when I was in college playing basketball, I still wanted to do music. It was just like, you ever have that moment in life where you're like, okay, it's time. It's time to go. Yeah, it was just one of those moments, like an aha moment, like, oh, yeah. Well, what was that moment for you though? Um, I don't know. I was just getting really, really anxious being in that environment and my mental health was just all over the place in that environment. I wasn't having not as nearly as more fun with basketball. Like, cause the only reason why I was in basketball is because I was having so much fun. Mm -hmm. And, but I, it became more of like, I had to put more effort into it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if there's something you really want to do, yes, you have to put effort, but it shouldn't feel forced. You know, I was forcing myself to be there. And so I guess that was a moment where I was just like, yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go. So did you graduate or are you still thinking like, okay, still got some time. Maybe I can go back. Yeah. I'm actually planning on going back to get my business degree. Um, so that's, that's cool. And I also want to go back for um, Spanish and French and Italian. Hablo un poquito de español? Yeah. Tu hablas es mi un poquito. <laughs> Uh, we <laughs> I don't speak Spanish well. I'm half Brazilian, so I speak oh, Portuguese. That's amazing. Yeah, so that's my that's actually my first language, and then English is my second. But I'm better in English, so that's crazy. <laughs> that is so cool. Thank you. But enough about me. It's all about you, girl. So with I know that an athlete has to have a very determined mindset and a lot of discipline. So all of those aspects of being a student athlete. How do they translate or transfer over into being an artist? Um, getting up every day because there's you don't there's music is doesn't have like a strict like schedule. It's just literally all over the place. You got to be a self motivator. Yeah, you have to be self disciplined in order to be in like the music industry because you can get so comfortable with just chilling mm -hmm. and just waiting, and you have to keep yourself busy. You have to. That's one thing that I'm so glad that I was in basketball, that it taught me that self-discipline because I've even caught myself being, you know, oh, I'm just chilling, I ain't got nothing to do today. I don't have any interviews. I don't have nothing to do on like the music schedule. I'm gonna just chill. And I'm just sitting there binge watching an entire show of Netflix doing absolutely nothing. So <laughs> yeah, that, that transferred over. I'm so blessed to be in that experience. You never know what you're in at the moment that will teach right. you down the line something right. very, very big in your future. So you right. have that um, bit about that. So you, so if someone were to ask, who is Maya Guggs? How would you explain your sound and everything about you as an artist? I am very, very free spirited. It's hard to tie me down in one place, in one thing. Um, so that's why that question is so hard. It's because it's just like, ah, I'm a lot of things. I'm everything. I'm 
literally everything. I'm very charismatic, very open. When's your birthday? December 4th, I'm a Sagittarius. Okay. Yeah, is that, if that explains anything, I'm a Sagittarius. So like, we're just like, but like, yeah, I'm very optimistic, very bright, very bubbly. Um, so I feel like my music, that's what my music like holds onto. Like it's very open and very honest and very raw. So I just want everything I do to be very, very authentic. So you have a new EP coming out called Patterns, which uh, I, I think it's um, Situationships. That's on the EP or is Situationships just something that you release solo? No, that's going to be on the EP. Okay. So like, uh, yeah, it goes into that because Patterns is just basically about, um, you know, the different patterns that I've noticed in like my relationships. Okay. So is so I'm I'm still nosy. I'm trying to figure out who that one person is though. So Patrick, is that about the same person too? Or is it still just like situationships where it's just a gumbo of people mixed together to make one situation? I will never say. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get to you one day, girl. <laughs> you know what? I want the tea. <laughs> you will never get me to expose the tea. So what advice do you have for anybody who's on a path that you know, maybe they want to leave or they're being forced into and they just want to spread their wings and pursue their dreams. What advice do you have for them? Jump. Just do it. The universe will catch you. Just jump. Because, I mean, what do you got to lose? You might as well just do it. Like, that's how I see it. Like, you never know what the outcome is going to be. So you might as well just try it. It's like riding a bike for the first time. You don't know if you can ride a bike until you just ride the bike. You got to go ahead first, take that down. Anything in life. That's just anything in life. You just got to do it. You never know. So the, the single is out, Situationships. And then this EP, when can we expect it to come out? So we're still working through all the legal stuff right now, but I'm praying and hoping, fingers crossed, for the summer. So we're planning on this summer. Summer 2021 is going to be big for Miss Maya Guggs. Make sure you look out for it. If they want to follow you, where can they find you on social? You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Maya Googs. So that's M-I-Y-A-G-U-G-G-S. M-I-Y-A-G-U-G-G-S. Because my, my name is not spelled like any regular Maya. It's, it's, it's spicy Maya, but I like it. Yes, spicy. <laughs> All right. So Miss Maya, I appreciate your time. Anything else you want to add and let the people know? I love you guys so much for supporting me. And thank you for having me here. Uh, thank you so much. I just love doing interviews and meeting new people. And just thank you. Well, I'm glad to have you and I wish you all the best and I look forward to interviewing you again. Yes, girl. We're going to have to do it again when my uh, EP drops so you can try to get more tea out of me. Mm -hmm. I'm chipping away. I'm going to get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Maya. You have a good rest of your day. Thank you. You too, love. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.